What's up everyone, so my name is of course Tom and welcome to TechStream. Today, thanks to the guys at Thermaltake, we're taking a look at something a little bit different today. We have got their Thermaltake M700 Extended Gaming Mouse. So, the M700 Gaming Mouse. Now, this was sort of sent to me because I've also taken a look at one of their keyboards recently and one of their mice and this sort of, it just kind of went well. So, the M700 is a 900 by 400 millimeter gaming mouse mount. So it's quite a big one. Uh, it is actually 4mm thick and it is made of uh, it's mouse made of a neoprene type material. Rubber backed for non-slip on the back and then on the top we've just got a relatively smooth fabric surface. Some nice stitching around the outside. Little subtle thermal tape logo on it. There's not a massive amount to say about it really. I mean it's a £30 mouse mat so it's not cheap but it's not too ludicrous. I've seen some for a lot more. Right, to be fair, they do include things like RGB. But hey, what we have here is just a basic mouse mat. Now, it does literally just come rolled up in a little box. You don't get any fancy packaging or anything like that. But one of the things that did impress me was the fact that literally, I went like that and it sits nice and flat. I've had a few recently. Um, including the one that's behind me. The mod mat didn't do it, but this this one didn't either. And you unroll them and you sort of got to put loads of weight on them to get them to sit flat. But no, this thing, I unrolled it and it worked. Now, the actual material on this, they say, they say is sort of like a, it's, it's not coarse, it's not smooth, it's meant to be in between. Personally, I think it is quite smooth. Um, my mod mat is actually a little bit smoother. There is some texture to it, but it is not in any way grippy. Well, I say it's not grippy. It grips the desk. As you can see, the desk wobbles. My mouse mat doesn't. It does not move, but the surface on the whole is nice and smooth. There's no sort of, like you can't feel the logo or anything like that because the, the logo is sort of uh, in the dye. This is sort of dyed rather than actually stitched in or anything like that. You do have to feel a raised edge around the edge, but the edging is actually incredibly good. That there is where the join is. You cannot, I had to really sort of hunt around for it. They've literally, they rather than just having a joint, they've actually sewed the two parts together so that they overlap and they merge themselves into one. So you're not gonna have to worry about any threads coming undone or anything like that. Um, it's overall, the build quality is very good. Now, when I was going through their description, one of the things that popped up was that it's spill resistant. And I was thinking, it's a mouse mat. There's nothing to go wrong with it if you get it a bit wet. So I thought, well, we'll see what this is on about. So I stuck a bit of water on it. And the first thing that impressed me was the water doesn't actually soak in. The water does actually sit on the top. So this fabric has obviously got some kind of coating on it. And if you do accidentally get some water on it, it doesn't actually just soak in. You can then just grab yourself a, a bit of kitchen roll or a cloth and just soak it up. Now, obviously, if I then rub it in, it does eventually soak in. But even then, it's still mostly sitting on the top of the surface. Now, what that does mean is if you do spill something on this, you can just mop it up. You haven't got to worry about washing it away. So if you do slop something on this, move your keyboard, move your mouse out of the way, and just wipe it off. No no worries about it soaking in or anything like that. Um, I thought this was going to be a complete and utter gimmick when I heard it. I've now got this thing quite wet, but hey. Um, I thought this was just going to be an absolute gimmick, but I was actually quite pleasantly surprised. Um, as somebody that has slopped stuff on my mouse mats before and it soaks straight in and then you've got to wash it and you, you shouldn't really machine wash them because they do sort of start to fall apart a little bit. Um, but yeah, quite impressive a little bit. So the M700, on the whole, it's an incredibly good product. Now, would I say it's outstanding? No, at the end of the day, it is just a cloth mouse mat. But if you have got a nice thermal tape keyboard and a nice thermal tape mouse mat, 
I think a nice thermotape mouse mat. No, a nice thermotape mouse. Having this underneath it, it would, it's just that little bit of extra on the end. I'm not the sort of person that has to have everything coordinated, but I, I do like it. Um, and just having just the little thermotape logo, it should be sitting there. I quite like that. Um, it's not got a load of sort of thermal take tax on the price okay it is a little bit more expensive than if you were to go buy some generic cheap thing from china um but at the end of the day it's well made if you should ever have a problem with it i can't see why you would you can always contact your uk reseller or your local reseller or your local thermal take and they'll just sort it out for you there's no dealing with foreign countries and, and things like that and getting all of the hassles and overall, actually, I'm just really impressed with it. Like I said, it's well built. The styling on it is subtle enough, but you can quite clearly tell it's thermal take. I haven't really got any gripes with it. The only thing I did notice, and whether it's, I don't know, whether it's just differences in black and things like that, the only thing I noticed really, the black isn't really, or to me, isn't really black. Now, my Mod Mac, Matt, is black this to me almost looks a bit more like a shade of gray now whether it is just my lighting or anything like that it just it's a to be honest with you the problem is blacks there's so many variations because black isn't actually really a color it's always either a very 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 dark shade of like blue for example and what comes out isn't always slightly different so i can't really say too much because like i said it's only, you only notice it when you compare it to other things. Now, the mouse mat I've got behind me there is a different shade of black altogether. The one that I've got sitting over there that you can't see because it's underneath the motherboard box is a different shade again. So, yeah, okay, if you wanted it to match the one that you've already got for some unknown reason, it probably won't. But, hey, you could always buy two if you need two mouse mats. So, there we go. That is about it for the M700 review today. There's not a lot I can really say about it. It's a nice, relatively well-priced gaming mouse mat. It's well assembled. And that's about it. What I will do though is I will put some links down below as to where you can buy one should you want one to go with the rest of your Dell take kit. We have actually reviewed, like I just said, one of their mice and one of their keyboards recently. So if you go and click down onto the channel, have a look through the other videos, you'll find those reviews there as well. If you want to see more of me though, don't forget, do click the subscribe button, do click the little notification bell. I do come back every week, every Saturday, 6pm British time. So that's about it for today, guys. If you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Not a problem. And there we go. Thank you very much, and bye for now.